The MTA, if the funding for the new 2nd Avenue subway fail, falls short, so will the new train line. CBS News' Diane Macedo joins us live from the Upper East Side. Diane. Good morning, Mayor. You can see behind me the ongoing construction on the 2nd Avenue subway. Still a long way to go to completion, but the MTA chairman now says if the MTA can't secure full funding for its $32 billion five-year capital plan, this project may end up being much smaller than anticipated. It's been a long time coming for the 2nd Avenue subway line, but the MTA now says without more funding, the project could fall very short. MTA Chairman Tom Prendergast testified in Albany yesterday about the scramble to fill the $15 billion gap in the MTA's five-year capital plan. The agency has asked both Mayor de Blasio and Governor Cuomo for more funding, but without it, Prendergast says expansion projects like the 2nd Avenue subway and long-awaited subway countdown clocks will be the first items on the chopping block. The project underway since 2007 aims to extend the Q train from 57th Street and 7th Avenue across town to 96th Street and 2nd Avenue, then up to 125th Street. It's also slated to add a new T train, which will run from 125th Street to Hanover Square in Lower Manhattan. MTA President of Capital Construction Dr. Michael Hirotnichianu gave CBS2 a tour of the project back in May. It's a very different approach to the environment of the station. The openness, the airiness, so it's, it's quite different. The subway's first section is set to open in December of 2016 with new stations at 96th, 86th, and 72nd Streets. But Prendergast now says if the MTA can't get the funding, that could be the end of the line. Now, another project that might be affected by all this is the effort to expand the Long Island Railroad into Grand Central Station. Now, Governor Cuomo has called the capital plan bloated in the past, but he does say that this will all be part of the state's budget negotiations, and the state is expected to approve a budget by April 1st. Live on the Upper East Side, Diane Macedo, CBS2 News.